Hey everybody, it is Heather. I'm back with another process video for Butterfly Reflections Inc. And I am working with the Doodle Bug collection again. And this project is probably my fourth and pretty much devoured <laughs> the six by six paper pad that I had. I still have a lot of the embellishments left. And if you watched my haul video, you understand why there was so much included in the packs of embellishments with this collection and i i'm sure i can make it work i mean I, I use white cardstock a lot anyway as my background so i'll have no problem using the rest of the embellishments but i really wanted to try these flowers these are the rolled flowers from paige evans and i think there's six here six different style flowers and I'm really happy with the way that the layout turned out but initially after I started rolling all of these I <laughs> thought I had totally messed them all up and got a little disappointed I'm sure we've all been there but I really wanted to try them this is my first time doing them I cut about a dozen and I have to say a couple of them I probably won't cut again because I just could not get them to look right. I ended up using them all, but the way they folded up, uh, some of them were a little bit harder to manage than others. And I would definitely suggest if you're going to do this, if you haven't tried already, use a hot glue gun. Uh, I use my Scott quick dry glue, my fine line bottle a lot, but you need something that's going to hold it quick and fast. So once you're rolling them, you bend, you start from the outer edge and you roll in and then there's a little like tab, I guess you fold over and that's what you're going to glue the bottom to. And some of them just didn't roll flat for me. I'm sure it was user error. It's definitely not the cut file. <laughs> it's definitely me. But you'll see how I remedy it and the problem was is as I used to, you can see right there there are some very large gaps in the center and I've seen Paige Evans do these uh, a couple of times and that is not the way they're supposed to look so I was able to stack a couple of them which was fun I like the way that that looks um, and I here I'm looking at them going huh what did I do? <laughs> did I mess them up? I actually went back and watched Paige uh, videos a couple times when she did this and realized, yeah, it was definitely me. <laughs> I just, um, I don't know. I just didn't roll them tight enough. So after I realized I could only stack a couple of them, I pulled out some glitter and gems and sequins I used some from Lucy's cards or Lucy's little things. I'm not sure which one it is. I think I've seen it both. Um, I also used some from Pretty Pink Posh and some glitter from my stash. And I just went based off color. I, I kind of cringed at a few of these because I dumped quite a bit in some of them because there were really large gaps in, <laughs> in a couple of them. But I just used a mix of glossy accents and the collage medium glue that I have. I know both of them are super strong, but I, I guess I've never really noticed whether the Distress Collage Medium dries clear. So I just poured a got like a glob inside and dump the sequins and jewels and things inside and then I would probably I put a little bit of a layer of glossy accents and I dump a little bit more kind of depended on how big the gap was so I will definitely cut these flowers again because I love them and I love how you can add all the different um, patterns and I mean you could do this as a monochromatic thing but they add a lot of dimension and this is not uh, a cut file or a project that I will be able to put in a page protector. That is for sure. It will be one that I probably hang up on my wall. I have a few that I hang up like on a curtain rod with some clips. And this will have to be one of those, which is fine. But yeah, it's definitely not going in a binder <laughs> or a scrapbook album. Um, I'm happy with the way that they turned out. And I had to edit out a lot of me creating those flowers because... It took a really long time um, rolling them and then I bent up the 
petals to make them look a little bit more realistic as much as you could considering their paper flowers. And it took me actually a long time to figure out the placement of them. I knew that I wanted to use this house, this little die cut piece. It's kind of big for a die cut. And it came out of the odds and ends uh, page or package from the Doodlebug collection. So initially I went with the wreath look, but it's been done so many times. <laughs> I guess I was trying to figure out some new, innovative, creative, unique way. And when you really think about it, I mean, we've all done kind of the same things over and over again. But in the, in the result is, is it always looks different because there's always a different take or a different spin that someone puts on it. You know, whether it's the background or the embellishments and the photo makes a huge difference. So... After I went through the wreath and then I, I edited this out because it really took me a long time. I played with these um, die cut flowers just because I wanted to add a little bit more. But once I added the mixed media to the background, I, I realized I really didn't need anything more than that in my world flowers. But I changed the position of the flowers to a heart and then like an outline of a heart and then I changed it to a filled heart and the wreath just looks so much better. I even, it even took me a long time to figure out the order of the flowers because some of them are so much bigger than the others and of course I was trying to space out the color. And then I changed my photo. <laughs> so my thought was... Um, with the house that I would use the quote, which I don't know if it's a quote by someone specific, but I've seen it on Pinterest where it says, you are my home. Um, that is a picture of my daughter who is, um, as of a couple of days ago, she's 10 years old. And then my 21 year old stepdaughter and we were out to dinner, um, and it was her treat, the oldest, for Mother's Day and Father's Day, which I thought was kind of nice. So I thought the title would be You Are My Home because, you know, in a way they are. So the house um, was appropriate and it was sized perfectly for that photo. So, and now that I'm looking at this wreath, I think I change it in the end, like the order when I take them off to do my background and I don't put them back the same way. And I, I actually like the way that this looks more when I was done and I was taking the photos, it kind of looked like it wasn't a perfect circle. Um, yeah, that's just <laughs> being too much of a perfectionist, I guess. So now I've taken them all off because I knew that I wanted to add some color in the background, which a lot of it will get covered up, but you'll see it peeking out around the flowers. So I'm taking my Distress Oxide inks and I'm sure that this technique is, um, it's nothing new. It's been seen and done by so many, but the result is always beautiful. It is so easy to do. It, it really is just as simple as smushing that ink pad down on some plastic packaging, adding some water, and then, uh, smushing it on your background. And, um, I credit Missy Wooden for a lot of <laughs> my inspiration with that. I, I didn't even know who started doing this the first time. I mean, I can't remember the first time I saw it, but I know that it's it's a staple in most crafters or most mm -hmm. crapbookers projects. And it really does, um, the result is, is so beautiful and, and there's really no wrong way to do it. It's so easy and simple. Sometimes I have a little bit uh, difficult time editing <laughs> knowing when to stop because it is just so much fun to just splatter and apply ink. Um, but at some point, you know, you have to stop because you might as well use uh, pattern paper or color cardstock because if you don't stop, then your white cardstock is no longer white. Anyway, um, I am applying a couple different colors. The Distress Oxide, I use the uh, Salty Ocean, Mermaid Lagoon, Picked Raspberry, Worn Lipstick 
and I might even throw in a little bit of that purple which is seedless preserves um, actually I don't think that I do I just wanted a few different shades and the dist distress oxide inks um, especially the oxides are so bright um, they just they work so well with the colors and these papers and so after I was finished smooshing my ink on the background I made some splatters with the same inks and if you missed it I did throw in a little bit of my Heidi Swap gold color shine because <laughs> what layout is complete without that also there's some gold foil and a lot of the papers and die cuts from this collection so it definitely works so here I am just placing my flowers back and again I'm rearranging them <laughs> rearranging and rearranging <laughs> it's funny the uh, when you go back and you look at a video if you recorded yourself the amount of time that you spend uh, moving things around <laughs> it's so hard to commit sometimes I don't know why I mean it's just paper it's not kidneys it's just paper but I know that lots of us do it because I, I watch others do it in their videos as long as you're happy with the end result right and you have a good time doing it that is the goal so I at this point have finished gluing my flowers down I have added a few more die cuts the butterflies and I am going in with the gold hearts and a couple of those leaves or branches I'm not sure what you would call them they are the gold foam thickers from pink paisley I think it was the take me away I'm not sure what collection it was from I actually recently if you saw my haul video last month um, that's a almost a brand new package I used the other one that I had and I wanted more so I ordered more so now I am um going to work on my title which unfortunately for me is always an afterthought I knew what I wanted it, the title to be but I was kind of thinking it would fit all above the photo but <laughs> it doesn't uh, only the you are my <laughs> and then I end up putting the home down below the picture so it works out and I, I like the spacing of it uh, and if you can tell, so, and I apologize, my layout is kind of partially off the screen here. I When I start recording, I check to make sure everything is within the, you know, camera scope. But then I move things and, you know, it stuff happens. <laughs> I apologize. But you can see the you can see the majority of it. That's what's important. You can see what I'm actually doing at the moment. So I move these back and forth quite a bit, trying to get them placed and centered, and they're not actually centered, but um it looks good. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm happy with the way that it looks. And these little foam thickers are from Paige Evans, and I love them. I I haven't even probably used half of them, but I'm sure that I'm going to want another package of those. So when I realized I couldn't fit home at the top, I toyed with putting it at the top of the house, like on the roof, and then on the photo. And I realized that the, here I am, I'm moving them again. Man, I'm indecisive sometimes. And you don't realize how indecisive until you're going back and watching yourself. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So I end up using all navy blue because the white just blended in. So there you can see I've added a couple of the hearts and the cute little enamel stickers from Doodlebug. Uh, this is my finished layout. I really hope that you enjoyed watching and you found some inspiration and give those rolled flowers a try. Maybe your first time will be better than mine. Uh, but I'll try it again, I promise. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hit like and subscribe if you're not already. And I will be back soon with another project. Thanks again. Have a great day.